Hey, Cindy. Sorry I didn't message you today. I was super busy at school. Man, I hope she's not mad at me. It's okay. I totally get it. How was school? What? She's so understanding. She's the best online girlfriend ever. Honestly, Cindy, school sucked. I'm having a rough time, and I'm not making any new friends. It's okay. I'm your best friend. Peter, it's time for dinner. Okay, Cindy. I have to go have dinner with my family now. I'll talk to you later. Hey! Yeah, I'm coming. Have a nice dinner, Peter. Okay, Peter. You have to make some new friends now. You've been at the school for a week and haven't even talked to anyone. You won't make any friends unless you try. Hey, uh, can I have lunch with you guys? No, nah, dude. Table's full. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, my name is... No, no. Stop talking to us. No losers allowed. Go away. Man. I tried. People at this school are really mean. I don't get it. Maybe I should just talk to Cindy. She always makes me feel better. Oh, it's her. That's weird. Hey, Peter. How's your day going? I miss you. Wow, she's so sweet. Hey, Cindy. Today kind of sucks. This is the best art school around, but I still haven't made any new friends. <laughs> huh? Wait, I could have swore that I heard... Uh, well, better get to class. Peter, what do you think you're doing? You need to do your homework. Yeah, Dad, I will in a minute. Who are you talking to? Is it a new friend from school? No, it's nobody. Well, it has to be someone. He's talking to his online girlfriend, Cindy. Ben! Online girlfriend, Peter Gideon West. Dad, come on, it's not a big deal. You know the rules. No online dating. It's bad. Give me that phone. No, hey, give it back. You'll get it back when you stop online dating. Oops. Oh, come on, you suck, dude. Whatever. I told you not to online date, and you didn't listen to me. Yeah, well, it's different, okay? Cindy's great. Yeah, sure. Wait, who could that be? I don't know. Wait, what is that? It's for you. Maybe it's your creepy online girlfriend. Ooh. What? No, it can't be. I haven't even told her where I live. Wait, what? It's a new phone? What? Okay, yeah, that's weird. Dad just takes your phone, and then suddenly another phone magically shows up? Yeah, that is weird. No, ugh, this is wrong. Man, this sucks. Wait, what's wrong? You just suck at painting, dude. You shouldn't even be in this school. Wait, can I see? Yeah, sure. Oh, dude, what are you talking about? This is great. Just keep going and trust the process, man. Whoa, thanks. I think I really need to hear that. Uh, I'm Kenji, by the way. I'm Peter. Are you new here? Yeah, I am. My dad just transferred me here, and this school is so hard to get into. Yeah, it is, but it's the best art school in Roblox. Dude, what is up with your phone? Uh, sorry, it's just my girlfriend. She won't stop texting me. Just put it on silent, dude. I would, but I can't. What? It's a long story, but it just won't go silent. I should just turn it off. Yeah, dude, don't get in trouble. Hey, uh, I'm going to the art store after school today. I need some new paint. Do you want to come with me? Yeah, man. Absolutely. Ah! So a phone just turned up at your front door? Yeah, man. My girlfriend Cindy was also the only contact and you can't put it on silent. Dude, that is sketchy. I don't like that. I know. Now it feels like someone's watching me. Well, this is your girlfriend. You should just go talk to her. Yeah, she's my online girlfriend. She lives like halfway across Roblox. Okay, dude, as your friend, I'm telling you, break up with her right now. Wait, did you say as a friend? Yeah, man, you're cool. And online dating is not cool. Yeah, I think you're right. I may have to. This is just all starting to get too much. Thanks again for hanging out with me, man. Oh uh, yeah, no problem. Let me just drive you home. Whoa, what the heck? My car! Quick, call 911! <laughs> Dude, I'm serious. His car was on fire. Yeah, like me right now. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Oh my gosh, it's Cindy. So you didn't break up with her? No, not yet. So what's the big deal? Look, we've never talked on the phone before, okay? It's only been online. What the heck? Dude, answer it. Answer it. Okay, uh, hey, Cindy? Yeah, it's me. Wow, uh, this is the first time we've talked on the... Yeah, where have you been? Huh? You haven't messaged me all day. Yeah, I I'm sorry, okay? I I've been busy. Well, I know you were spending time with your new friend instead of talking to me. <laughs> I think it's just rude and hurtful. I am your girlfriend. Wait, what the... 
How did you know I was? So when I text you, text me back. What the heck? Uh, yeah, I heard that, dude. Dude, she knew I hung out with Kenji today, and I never told her that. You better watch out, man. Sounds like she's a real stalker. It sounds crazy, right? A hundred percent. And you need to break it off with her right now. Yeah, you know what? I will. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, babe! Hi! Yeah, hi. Uh, I think we need to talk. Oh my gosh, we're talking for the first time. This is so exciting. What? No, you just called me and basically ripped my head off. <laughs> no, I didn't. You're so silly. That's why I love you. What? You love me? Of course, duh. And you love me too. It's okay. You don't need to say it. Yeah, okay, Cindy. This needs to end right now. What are you talking about? We're breaking up. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. This isn't funny, Peter. I know it's not. Look, this is really starting to creep me out, okay? Well, I love you, and you can't break up with me, Peter. <laughs> or else you'll regret it. No, we're done, Cindy. I never want to talk to you again. Look, I'm sorry, but goodbye. Okay, I'm glad this is over. Time to throw out this phone now. Oh, Peter. <laughs> this will never be over. We will be together forever. Oh, sweet. Kenji, you won. Whoa, I always thought these were rigged. Dude, is that her again? Uh, yeah, man. I got my phone back from my dad, and she just won't stop messaging me. Yeah, that's typical creepy stalker online girlfriend to me. I don't get it. She was so nice and sweet before. Doesn't matter. This is why you don't online date, dude. I hate it. Why? I used to date someone online. It was this girl named Gretchen. I was talking to her and turned out she was nothing like she said. She called me and texted me all the time. It was insane. Oh man, so what happened? I had to change my phone number. Ask your dad to do it for you. Then everything should be fine. Yeah, man, good idea. I'm gonna go get some cotton candy. You want some? Nah, I'm good. I had too many corn dogs. Yeah, you did. I'll be right back. Hey, give me all your money. What? I don't have any money. Yes, you do. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, loser! Oh my gosh, Kenji! Are you okay? What happened? Yeah, I, I think so. I just got robbed, dude. We should go after them or find security. Nah, they're long gone by now. I just want to go home. All right, yeah, let's get going. Hey, guys! Welcome to Circuit Quimby's! What can little old Quimby do for a little old pals like you? Uh, yeah. I need to change my son's cell phone number. Yeah, I don't know how to do that or anything like that. Please, my son is an idiot and got himself a creepy online girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend anymore. Seriously? Online dating? Whoa, pretty lame, dude. See, Peter? Even this creepy little creature knows online dating is lame. Why don't we just, like, get him a whole new phone or something? I know how to do that, and I get more money. Yeah, fine, whatever. Ha, I'm on it. One new computer, I mean phone coming up. Bimby, get the phones. Ugh, oh, great. This is probably going to cost me an arm and a leg. I know better now, Dad. I promise, okay? No more online dating. Good. I want you to focus on that fancy, expensive private art school you're in. This could launch your career as an artist. I know, Dad. Then you better get serious about it. That thing also cost me an arm and a leg. Here you go, big champ. <laughs> One new phone brought to you by me. Yeah, whatever. How much is this going to cost me? $1,500, including tax. What? This is highway robbery. Ugh. Whatever, fine. Just take the money. Come on, Peter, let's get out of here. That man's eyes are terrifying. Here you go, man. Here's my new number. Ah, oh, sweet. I had this meme I've been dying to send you, dude. Check it out. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. All right, students, shut up. I know you don't care, and I definitely don't. But Principal Salt is making me tell you we have a new student today. This is Patrice. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. Dude, that's Cindy. What? Patrice, go take a seat. I'm going to start class. I'm going to sit right here. What are you doing? Uh, excuse me? Cindy, I know it's you. Uh, 
who is Cindy? What seems to be the problem over here? I, I don't know. This random boy is just being so mean. He won't let me sit here. No way. This is my ex-girlfriend, Cindy. She's stalking me. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, Peter, you're being a jerk to Patrice. You got detention after school. What? Come on. Just shut up. Patrice, have a seat. I told you, Peter. We're going to be together forever. Man, that sucked. I've never gotten detention before in my life. Hi, Peter. Ah, Cindy. Why are you here so late? Are you avoiding me? You're the one that got me detention. Oh, whatever. You're so dramatic. Isn't it awesome we're going to the same school now? No, it's not. Yes, it is. I know you think so. But how the heck did you even get accepted here? This is the hardest art school to get into. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. I just hacked the database, made a fake name, and boom, here I am. Now, we can spend a whole day together. You don't need your stupid new friend. I'm your best friend. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I am your girlfriend. You're not. We broke up. No, we didn't. Stop saying that. Yes, we did. I want you to stay away from me, okay? Just go away. Oh, no, Peter. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, Dad. I'm home. Where the heck have you been? I was at school. This late? Look, I... I got detention, okay? What? Oh, boy. Explain yourself, young man. You won't believe me, but Cindy hacked her way into the school. Well, isn't this just great? I told you not to online date, Peter. I know, but... You better not mess up at this school. I worked too hard and spent too much money to get you in there. I know you did, Dad. This is your future at stake. If you want to be an artist, you need to go to this school. And now your creepy online girlfriend's getting you detention. Don't let it happen again. I'm trying, okay? What should I do? Don't mess this up. Dude, that was super sketchy, though. I know. Dude, I'm lost. What do you think I should do? Uh, I don't know. Just ignore her. Just ignore her? How? I don't know. Maybe she'll just get over it. Yeah, I hope so. But I have a bad feeling about this. You should have listened to us, man. Now you're paying for it. Gee, thanks for the support. So you just have to deal with it? There's not much I can do, I guess. I just have to ignore her. Yeah, that was easier when it was just online, dude. But now she's here. IRL. I know. But if I want to be a serious artist, then I have to graduate from this school. My dad worked way too hard to get me in here, and I just I can't throw it all away. I know. My parents did too. Well, this is a lot easier to deal with now that I actually have a friend. I just wish I could do some magic or something and just poof, get rid of her. <laughs> you can't just make me disappear. Dude, you were listening to us talk? Of course I was. Okay, yeah, that's creepy. Cindy, I won't say this again. Leave me alone. Hey, loser. Don't talk to my girlfriend like that. Wait, what? Yeah, Patrice and I are dating now. Yeah, we're together now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good luck, dude. What is that even supposed to mean? Well, Patrice here isn't really Patrice. Her name is Cindy, and she's my creepy ex-online girlfriend. No, I'm not. You're being so mean. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Come on, Ryan. Let's go. I think it's almost done. And there. That looks good, right? Uh, maybe not. I just can't think straight with all this Cindy stuff going on. I bet that's exactly what she wants, too. To just get in my head. I can't let that happen. Peters, what is you doing here so late, y'all? I was just working on my assignment, Teacher Rufus. I missed a day, so I'm trying to catch up. Can I see your works? Oh, my goodness. Y'all, this is wild. It's that good? Is guacamole that good? The answer is yes. This is incredible works. Wow, thanks, Teacher Rufus. That means a lot coming from you. I know that's right. Oh, my Oh my gosh, excellently, I have an idea, and I don't got many of those, y'all. I think I'm gonna put your works in the scholarships for art college, y'all. Wait, what, really? You're lying. I don't tell lies, y'all. Lying is bad, okay? Getting a scholarship to an art college would be incredible. Thank you. You is welcome. And you need to go home, okay? All right, this school is closing, y'all. We got to go. Okay, yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh, Peter, you think you're going to college without me? <laughs> I don't think so. Peter, I need you to take out the trash. It stinks. Yeah, I'm on it. Peter! Ah, what the heck? Why, why do you keep screaming? 
You know it's just me. Yeah, which is why I'm screaming. Why are you here? And wait, how did you even find out where I lived? I know everything, Peter. We should go on a date. I'm thinking the movies. No, I'm thinking about going inside and not talking to you ever again. Wait, hold on. Aren't you going to invite me inside? What? No. Don't be lame, Peter. I want to go inside and meet your family. I am your girlfriend, after all. It's about time that I've met him. No, we're not dating. And wait, you're dating Ryan now. No, I'm not. I'm just using him to get back at you. Isn't it obvious? Seriously, you are evil. Like, crazy evil. <laughs> You're so funny, Peter. I love you. Stop this, Cindy. This isn't love. Let's date again. I know you love me. I do not. So just leave me alone now. Oh, we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend again. Or you're going to regret it. Yeah, I already do regret ever dating you to start with. <laughs> Peter! Peter! Dude, you're, there you are! What's wrong? Uh, come look at this. Oh my gosh, what happened? My painting! No! I was going to get a scholarship for this! Who could have done this? Well, Teacher Rufus said you were the last student here yesterday. What? No, it wasn't me. Yes, it was you, Mr. West. Principal Salt, please listen, I can explain. I don't need an explanation! I have this! I hate everyone here. Teacher Rufus is dumb. I did this. I hope you love it. Peter, I didn't write this. Why would I write this? Well, this is evidence now, and it's a true confession of your crime. We should have never accepted trash art students like you into this school. Look, I didn't do it, okay? Why would I ruin my own work? Because you're crazy. First the thing with the new girl, Patrice, and now this. Peter, I have no choice. You're expelled. No, Principal Salt, you can't do this. I'm not listening to you. Empty your locker. You're done here. Look, I'm sorry, Dad. I don't know what else to say. You should be sorry. You got expelled after everything I did for you to get in that school. This is what you do? Dad, okay, just listen to me. No, I am so mad at you, I don't even want to look at you. Uh, who are you and why are you in my house? Hello, Mr. West. I'm Cindy, Peter's girlfriend. Girlfriend? Peter, I thought you broke up with her. Dad, I don't know how she got in here, okay? But look, I'm not dating her. She's stalking me. And she's probably the one that got me expelled. Okay, yeah, creepy girl. Get out of my house or I'll call the cops. Fine, give me a million dollars and I'll go. What? You are insane. Get out. Fine, I'll see you later, Peter. Okay, so that girl just broke into our house? I don't know what to do, Dad, okay? I don't know how to stop her. This is the final straw. Now we have to move because of you. Wait, what move? Clearly she can break in whenever she wants. And I don't feel safe here. Pack your things, we're moving. And I'm calling the police. Hey, Ben, can you help me move my stuff? Nah, dude, do it yourself. You got us into this mess in the first place, idiot. Wow, thanks. Dude, wait, no, you're seriously moving? Yeah, man, Cindy broke into our house last night. Okay, yeah, that's straight out of a horror movie. I know, my dad called the cops, but there's nothing we can do. So, we have to move. Well, can I at least give you a hand? Wait, really? Yeah, dude. I don't want to see you go away, but the faster you get out of here, the better. That way, Cindy won't follow you. Now, let's go get the rest of your stuff. Thanks again, dude. I'll text you when we get there. Sounds good. Uh, goodbye, Peter. Good luck. This is it? Really? This is all I could afford on short notice. It's smaller than our old house. It's not that bad. I mean, I kind of like it. Shut up, Peter. Just start unpacking. I need to go check the fuse box. Dude, Dad has been super cold and distant the whole way here. Why do you think he's like that? It's because of all of this. It's because we had to uproot our lives because of your stupid mistake. Look, I'm not happy about this either, you know. I got kicked out of my dream art school and I had to move away from my only friend. I'm the one that's getting stalked here. I know, I know, I'm sorry. We're just all really stressed out right now. Stressed? Why are you two stressed? Me and dad are just worried about you. This psycho stalker ex-girlfriend thing is no joke. We're worried something bad's gonna happen to you. Well, we moved away now and there's no way she can find us here. Yeah, I hope so. I'm gonna go get my stuff in the car. Man, this really does suck. I hope this is the end of Cindy for good. Oh, hey, Genji. Hold on, what? Yeah, I'll be right there. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine now. 
just broke my leg. What happened? Well, I was driving home, and some van ran me off the road and I crashed. Dude, that sucks. I'm glad you're okay, though. Yeah, but Peter, I think it was Cindy. Wait, really? How? I don't know, but... I mean, it's obvious she always was jealous that we were friends. Before I passed out, I swear I heard her laughing. No, this is all my fault. What? How is this your fault, dude? Because I was the one that broke up with her. Then she went crazy, and now this? I just feel bad now that you're being involved too. Don't feel bad, dude. I don't blame you for this, but it is really strange. What do you mean? I don't know just yet, but something feels off. I just can't put my finger on it. I'm gonna do some investigating when I get home. Well, what can I do? You need to stop her, Peter, and get out of here now before she does something even worse. Okay, I, I will. Just get some rest, Kenji. I'm really sorry, but we'll talk soon. I promise. Well, here we go again. First day at a new school. Hi, are you Peter? Uh, yeah, that's me. Welcome to West Point High. I'm your welcome party. My name is Mia. Oh, sweet. Nice to meet you. First things first, don't eat the pudding in the cafeteria. It's so gross. <laughs> hey, what is this? Are you cheating on me? No, no. You better stay away from my boyfriend. Uh, okay. I'm his girlfriend, not you. Got it? Yeah, got it. That's it. I'm calling the police. No, give me your phone. Hey, back off. Peter, stop. Give me the phone. <sighs> I think I lost her. I hope I lost her. Shouldn't you be at school? Why are you breathing like that? It's Cindy. She found me. What? Are you serious? Yes, dude. And she's chasing me. What the heck? She's been following me, dude, non-stop. I called the cops. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wow, that was a fun game. This isn't a game, Cindy. Take a hint. You're a creep. No, you actually called the cops? Yeah, okay, where's the creepy stalker? She's right he here? Wait, where did she go? Hey, Mia, thanks for meeting me. I actually didn't know if you would show up. Honestly, I almost didn't. I'm really sorry about Cindy, okay? She's kind of turned my entire world upside down lately. What is going on? It's not every day I get yelled at by someone. Cindy used to be my online girlfriend, but I broke up with her, and she's been stalking me ever since. Oh my gosh. That's why I'm at a new school. My whole family had to move because of her. Wow, that is all so strange. What do you mean? I need to warn you, Peter. Things like that have been happening to the boys at my school, too. Wait, what? No way. Yeah, the boys at school are being scammed by online daters. I heard it's the same girl, and she stalks them and won't leave them alone until they give her a million dollars. Okay, yeah, that is strange because that's exactly what's going on with me. I should go. Go? Where are you going? I gotta talk to Kenji. He's my best friend. Look, I'm sorry, I've gotta go, but thanks again, Mia. You're awesome! Okay, bye, Peter. I warned you not to talk to my boyfriend! Ha! Hey, how are you feeling, dude? A whole lot better. You should be off these crutches soon, I think. That's good, but look, there's something else I need to ask you. Yeah, man, what's up? You said you were looking into Cindy, right? Did you end up finding anything? Nah, dude. It's like she doesn't really exist. Wait, what? What do you mean? There's no record of Cindy at all. Anywhere. Okay, that's not scary at all. <laughs> yeah, man. So I was thinking and I looked again last night and I did find something though. Really? What did you find? You're not gonna believe it. I went back and looked at my old messages with my online girlfriend and look at this. Is that Cindy? I think so. But she said her name was Gretchen. No, dude, this is definitely her. I thought it all seemed odd at first, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I'm really sorry I didn't tell you before. Don't be sorry, Kenji. Look, I think Cindy or Gretchen or, or whoever she is has been doing this for a while. Welcome back to Channel 10 News. I'm Chip Dazzle. A terrifying story. A local student named Mia has gone missing. Oh no, Mia! Police are on the lookout, but Mia was last seen at a coffee shop downtown. Anyone with any information must bring it to the police immediately. This had to have been Cindy. I have to find her. Okay, I texted Cindy to meet me here. I know she's going to show up. Hello, Peter. Cindy, uh... Thanks for coming. I got your text. 
You actually wanted to see me? Yeah, I have something I need to tell you. Oh yeah? Well save it. You called the police on me and you said mean things to me. Like how I broke up with you? Yeah, that. See, I hate that. I don't care about anything you say. Okay, just wait, Cindy, because look, I I'm sorry and I want to go out with you again. What? Yeah, I messed up, okay? And I just want to go on a real date with you. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yes, you wore me down. I'm serious. <laughs> you won. Oh, yay! I love it. So, what should we do for our first date? Movies? No, 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 no. Arcade. I was actually thinking about something like a dinner at your place. My place? Yeah, I mean, you've seen both places I've lived in, and I want to see where my girlfriend lives, of course. I mean, if you don't want to, then... No, 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 no. It's perfect. When do you want to come over? How about... Uh, I'm free right now. Right now? Uh... Oh, man. Are you going to tell me you don't want to date me now? No, shut up. That's not true. Let's go. All right. Here goes nothing, Peter. Wow. This is a nice place, Cindy. I know, right? Are your parents home? No, they're on vacation right now. It's just me. Right, okay. So, uh, you said dinner? Oh, yeah, I'm super hungry. Well, I don't have anything to make dinner. How about cookies? Yeah, that sounds perfect. Oh, cute! I'll go make us some. Okay, I gotta be fast. There has to be a clue somewhere here about where Mia is. Oh my gosh, Mia! Peter, you found me. Shh, look, Cindy is here too. We have to be quick. Okay, cookies are out of the oven. Peter? Peter! Oh no. Ah, Peter! So he found you, huh? Wow, so cool. Shouldn't you be happy? I just saved her. Yeah, honestly, I don't really care. I'm just happy your parents are gonna stop annoying me. Look, officer, we know who did this and who's scamming the other boys at my school. Who knows who else? Yeah, so what? So what? I want her arrested. Ugh, fine, whatever. I'll arrest her tomorrow morning. It's getting late and I still need to eat my lean cuisine. No, I want you to arrest that psycho now. <sighs> Fine! Oh my gosh, I hate this job so much. Thank you again for saving me, Peter. Of course, don't mention it. When all this is over, maybe we can go get that coffee you owe me. Definitely. Oh, dude, your driving is terrible. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. This is it. This is the place. Okay, no matter what she says, you have to arrest her. Don't tell me how to do my job, punk. This better not be a trick. Trust me, it's not. As soon as we walk in, you'll see. Fine, let's get this over with. I already hate it here. All right, creepo, you're under. Oh my gosh. I was literally here an hour ago. I don't even know how she did this. This is some kind of sick trick that you idiots always pull on me. Officer, I don't know how this happened, but I promise she was here and she's dangerous. So what? I'm not scared of her. I'm not scared of anybody. You better be. She is no joke. Neither is this. One more mistake and it's gonna be over. We're talking jail, loser. Now I'm out of here. This place sucks. Ugh. Well, if he's not gonna help me, then I guess I have to stop her myself. Dad, please, you can't do this. I'm sorry, Peter, but I'm going out of town with Ben. Yeah, dude, I've been waiting for this convention for months. Yeah, I know, but you're leaving me home alone. You're basically an adult. You'll be fine. Yeah, dude, chill out. Chill out? Cindy is still out there and you're leaving me. We don't have a choice, son. I'm very sorry. I'm begging you. Just don't leave. Okay, that's enough. Come on, Ben. Let's go to this whatever convention. It's an anime convention, Dad. Whatever! Peter, you're gonna be fine. Bye! Please, no. Ugh, this sucks. I don't want to be alone all weekend. Hey, Kenji. Yeah, what's up, dude? Do you think you can come hang out with me this weekend? Yeah, sure. I'll be there in a bit. <laughs> oh, Peter. You're all alone now. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. Come on, Kenji. Where are you, dude? Oh, good. It's got to be him. Hi, Peter. Ah! Come on, Peter. Let me in. No. Peter, is this any way to treat your girlfriend? Cindy, this has to stop now. I'll leave you alone if you give me money. One million dollars. No. 
Absolutely not. I know you've been scamming a ton of other people too, and I'm not going to be another one. Then I will never leave you alone. I will be everywhere you go. You can't escape me. Yeah, you can't escape me either, lady. Wait, no, 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 no. This, this is a mistake. Actually, it's not. <laughs> this was a good idea, dude. Best trap ever. That was a trap? I knew you were listening to me the whole time. So I sent my dad and brother away for the night. And Kenji knew when I called him to bring the police. Ah, that's not fair. Yeah, and now it's finally over. Yes, thank goodness. All right, let's go, creepy. I'm so sick of this. Ah, no, let me go, you creep. Oh my gosh, these swings are going so fast. This is fun. Oh, I wish there was other people I could hang out with, though. Oh, I'm so lonely. Hey, you noob. Oh, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Uh, nice to see you. Ugh, it's not nice to see you. Can't believe that you're on these swings, you disgusting bacon hair. What? Uh, my hair's nice. My my friends say that they like it. What friends? Uh, all right, maybe you got me there. Yeah, that's what I thought. No one's gonna be friends with somebody like you. What is that supposed to mean? It means you're a loser. You're a noob. Nobody is gonna want to be around you. You're so gross. Jeez, man, I, I, mean, I don't mean to offend you so much. I'm just trying to live my life. Well, you did offend me. Everything about you is offensive because you're so gross. And you kind of smell disgusting, too. Well, I don't know what to do. I, I fell into a pond earlier. Of course you did. Of course you did. Ugh! Hey, man, what's your problem? What's my problem? What's your problem? I don't have one. It just looks like you're picking on this guy for no reason. I have a reason. He's a noob. And noobs should not be in Roblox. Don't you get that? I think you shouldn't be in Roblox, dude. You're kind of mean. Really? You're going to defend this guy? Yeah, I mean, what the heck, dude? You don't just be mean to people for no reason. You know what? Whatever. I don't need this. Have fun with your stupid noob friend. Hey, man. You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm doing fine. Thank you so much for standing up for me. Yeah, hey, don't mention it. Uh, what's your name? My name's Kyle. Oh, it's really nice to meet you, Kyle. Uh, people just call me noob. Okay, cool. Well, look, I gotta get going, but it was nice meeting you, and I'm glad you're okay. Oh, yeah, we gotta get going. All right, sounds good. Hey man, did you follow me all the way here? Well, yeah, I, I, we were supposed to be hanging out, right? No, we're not hanging out. I had to go home. I don't even know you. Oh, Kyle, come on, man. It's me, your best friend. No, 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 no. Look, man, I, I, I defended you at the park and whatever. I'm glad that you're okay, but like, you gotta leave me alone. You can't just come to my house. Oh, I get it. You're just got stuff to do tonight. Yeah, okay, no worries, man. I get it, I get it, but we'll hang out soon. Uh, I don't think so, but could you please leave? Okay, yep, I gotta get out of here anyway. I got stuff to do too, but I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you later. Oh man, this is gonna be a great day. We're getting a bunch of new machines in at the arcade. I can't wait to go to work. What are you doing at my house? Oh, hey, man, what's up? You didn't answer me. What are you doing here? Oh, I just noticed your car was dirty, so I washed it for you. My car? Don't go near my car. That thing's really expensive. Yeah, I know. How did you afford this thing? I won it in a contest. I'd never be able to afford a car like that again if something happened to it. Oh, well, uh, well, it's all clean for you. Look, dude, you can't just come over here and start doing this stuff. Like, leave my car alone. But don't you appreciate it? It's all clean. Yeah, I mean, great. Thank you, I guess. But at the same time, it's a huge invasion of privacy. You can't just come over here. Look, Kyle, I know you're upset. It's first thing in the morning, but we're best friends. So I know we'll get over this. No, we're not best friends. Oh, yeah, we are. That's what best friends do. Like, I clean your car, help you out. Then maybe you give me Robux. 
But no, I'm not giving you Robux, dude. What the heck? Go get a job. Go get a hobby. Something. Just leave me alone. Alright, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. I can get out of here right now. I can come back later. I get it. You're busy. No, please don't come back. That's what you don't understand. I'm telling you, leave me alone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll see you later. Oh, gosh, this is gonna turn into a serious issue. This guy's, like, stalking me. Bob! Bob! Hey, Bob! What are you doing? Can't you see I'm busy working? I know that you're busy, Bob, but I gotta tell you, I made a best friend! <laughs> you made a best friend? That's the funniest thing I've heard in my lifetime. Why is it so funny? I mean, people like me, right? Wrong. You're a noob. Nobody likes you. But, Bob, I'm your son. If I was a noob, wouldn't that make you a noob? Nope. Wrong again. I'm a noob's mother, which means I am not a noob. But, Bob, you're supposed to care about me. Don't you care about me? You? No, not really. You're kind of an embarrassment. But why, Bob? What even makes me a noob? I don't understand. Why is everybody so mean to me? I don't know. Maybe if you were better at life, people would like you. But I, I don't know. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I got to go back to work. <sighs> Fine, Bob. Thanks for all the support. I can't believe you. Oh, my goodness. Could you just quiet down already? You're so annoying. Ugh. Bye. Bye. Aw, oh, dude, I'm so glad to be out on lunch break. Yeah, I know. Me too, Grant. How was your weekend, dude? My weekend was weird. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, really? Why? What happened? Well, I was at the park, and there was some noob guy that was there, and some guy was picking on him, so I was like, dude, stop. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. You stood up for him like you should. Yeah, but now the guy's stalking me, man. What do you mean he's stalking you, bro? Get over yourself. No one wants to stalk you. Dude, I'm telling you right now, he definitely was stalking me. He followed me all the way home. Yeah, but like he's a noob, so he probably lost his way or something. You don't know what's going on with him. I don't know. Something just seems weird. And then I come out this morning and he was standing at my car. Wait, really? Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, it's really messed up. He said he cleaned my car for me. Oh, that is weird, dude. I know, I'm like really scared. <laughs> I can't believe you're being stalked by a noob. It's kind of funny. It's not funny. Yeah, it, it's pretty funny, actually. Well, hopefully this guy just stops following me around. Maybe he'll forget where I live or something. I mean, noobs are kind of stupid, right? Yeah, maybe, dude. Who knows? Hopefully he'll just forget all about you. All right, well, lunch break's over, man. We got to head back. All right, let's go. Man, that was a long day today. I can't believe I worked a double shift. I can't wait to get some rest. What the heck is going on? Where did all this food come from? Why is there raw meat everywhere? This is ridiculous. My house stinks. Ugh. Who would do something like this? Hey, Kyle. How's it going, man? You, what are you doing in my house? Oh, I made you dinner. Wait, what do you mean you made me dinner? Yeah, well, I figured these were some of your favorite foods, like raw salmon, raw steak, a can of cat food, maybe even some pizza. This is, like, beyond unacceptable. You can't just come into my house and take all this weird food out. What, what is even happening? Well, I thought we were going to eat dinner and then play video games because we're best friends. That's what best friends do. For the last time, we're not best friends. I know you don't mean that. I know that you're just upset because, well, I don't really know why you're upset. I'd be happy if I had all this food right here. 
No, I'm not happy. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for you to be here. Why are you treating me like this, Kyle? I mean, this isn't how you treat a friend. You're not my friend. Don't you get that? I don't get it. Why are you being so mean? I'm not being mean. You're stalking me. Now get out of my house. Fine, I'll get out. I'll see you later on, man. Jeez, you need time to cool down. I have a serious problem on my hands with this guy. What am I gonna do? Oh man, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see this movie. I know, I'm excited too, especially since we're like not in a super public place where people can see me. Yeah, man. Wow, it sounds like this noob thing's really getting to you, huh? This guy's just so stupid. I don't get it. Yeah, the guy does sound really dumb. So he just broke into your house? Yeah, I mean, he literally broke into my house. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I might have to call the cops or something. Yeah, man, you should. Like, what kind of person does that? Just break into somebody's house? I should have just let that guy pick on him. I mean, what the heck? Maybe he was right. This guy is stupid. I mean, I should have never invited him into my life. Dude, you did the right thing. You didn't invite him into your life. You just barged in. Yeah, and now I have a stalker. Can you believe that? Me, a stalker. Huh, I can't believe it, actually. It's kind of funny, but it's not at the same time. Like, I know it's serious. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I guess maybe I should just get some cameras installed or something and see if I can catch this guy in the act. Yeah, I mean, the guy's so stupid anyway. You probably just watch him trip and fall and, like, bump into walls and stuff. <laughs> yeah, he is pretty stupid. Let's just enjoy the movie. Who knows what I'm going to walk into when I get home. Yeah, truth, man, truth. Well, make sure you call the cops if it gets too out of hand. Yeah, I definitely will. I can't believe this. Everybody's so awful to me all the time. Why? What did I ever do to anybody, huh? All I wanted was to have a friend. And then he talks all this nonsense about me to his brother friend, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sad. My mom hates me. My dad hates me. I have no friends. I blame that Grant guy, that Kyle's friend there. He's turning up against me. He was supposed to be my best friend, and this guy is trying to swoop in and steal it. But I'm gonna be Kyle's best friend no matter what. I don't care what anybody has to say. Even Kyle, he'll say I'm the best friend that anybody's ever gonna have. Kyle, I got a bone to pick with you. Whoa, hey, dude, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm working. You know that I work here somehow. I don't, how do you know that I work here? All I know is that you were treating me mean. You weren't doing what a best friend was supposed to do. Look, I'm sorry if this hurts your feelings, but I'm not your best friend. I'm not even your friend. We've only met a couple of times, and almost the entire time you were stalking me. I wouldn't call it stalking. I'd call it friendship. Look, I'm not your friend, okay? Get that through your stupid head. Excuse me, what did you just say to this person? Oh, hey, sorry, boss. Look, uh, this guy has been stalking me. He's a noob, and uh, I I'm just trying to get him out of here. So that's how you treat a noob, huh? You just start treating him bad? Oh, man, you don't know the half of it. This guy is terrible. He breaks my heart every day. Is that true, Kyle? No, it's not true, okay? This guy's broken into my house multiple times, broken into my car. He follows me everywhere. Well, he's a noob, okay? He's a new player. He needs help. And that's how you help him out, huh? By bullying him? I didn't bully him. He's been bullying me. It's not true. I would never do that to my best friend. My gosh, this guy still thinks that I'm his best friend. Can't you see what I'm dealing with? I can see quite clearly. Kyle, if I catch you picking on a noob one more time, in this establishment, you're fired. Do you understand that? <sighs> yes, boss. And as for you, noob, I was wondering, do you want to go get some ice cream? Oh, uh, yeah, I love ice cream. That sounds great. I can tell you about how B Kyle is. Sure, I'd love to hear about it, just so I can punish him later on for it. Oh, yeah, well, I got plenty of stories about this guy. Come on, let's go. Oh 
Oh my gosh, what a long day. I can't believe that the noob did that. He's getting even crazier with his stalking. This is getting really weird. I'm glad I installed those cameras. Oh, wait, I'm getting an alert. Oh my gosh, it looks like the noob has just been living in my house. What is he doing? How is this even possible? I gotta call the cops or something. This is so scary. Wait a minute. This is now. He's right in the other room. Hey, you, noob, what are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. Get out of my house right now. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm never gonna leave. We're gonna be best friends forever, Kyle. No, this is wrong. You're going crazy, man. You can't just break into people's houses. You don't live here. I'm not your friend. In fact, I hate you. Wait, what did you just say? You're making my life miserable. You're getting me in trouble at work. I can't even live here anymore. Oh, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. I can't believe you'd say something like that. Well, I had to say it, okay? I don't like you. I don't want you around. Just leave and go. Ugh, I know you don't mean anything you say, man, but I'll get out of here if it'll make you feel any better. But just know, I'll always be watching. Go! I'm calling the cops! Get out! I can't believe I had to move to a new house to get away from that noob. Oh, man, things got really serious. The cops got involved and everything. It's crazy. But I'm excited for a fresh start. I mean, this is a nice, safe neighborhood. It's quiet. I got a new job. Things are off to a great start. I just can't wait to put all this behind me. And what's with that guy anyway? Why would he do this stuff? I mean, I'm not even that cool. All I did was just say hi to him, really. I mean, yeah, I stopped that guy from making fun of him. But that's not enough for, to become, like, obsessed with somebody. I don't know. I just gotta remind myself that it's all over and things are gonna be fine. Oh, hey there, new neighbor. What? No, it's you. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I just want to say, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought I got away. <laughs> hey, everybody. I just want to take some time to shout out my favorite comments from the last video. Make sure you watch to the end of every video to see if your comment gets highlighted next. Also, don't forget to use star code SHANEPLAYS. I appreciate all the support. That's it for me today, guys. I'll see you next time. Oh my gosh, get away from me, crazy lady. Stop. Stop right there. Oh my gosh, what do you want? You're following me everywhere. This skateboard that you're riding is a danger. Listen, lady, I'm just skateboarding, minding my own business. It's a danger to everyone around us. I'm just enjoying my normal day. Everybody skateboards around here. Well, you're in violation. They're not supposed to be skateboarding. Why do you keep following me? Can you please just leave me alone? No, I don't feel like it. Oh my gosh, I don't have time for this. You thought that you could just walk away from me? What are you doing in my house? I'm not letting this go. Skateboarding is not allowed. You just broke the law. You broke into my house. That's it. I I'm calling the cops. You are ruining this town. They're not going to help you. Oh my gosh, just get out of my house. This isn't over just yet. So, when do you think the park will be ready to be open? Yeah, I'll have it done by the end of the week. End of the week? Oh, that's awesome. Yep, it's been a lot of work, but it's finally going to pay off. I'm really excited to get the skate park up and running. Oh my gosh! Just stay here, okay? I'll, I'm going to go make sure everything's okay. What on earth could have happened? <laughs> you! What are you doing here? You have a lot of nerve. I have a lot of nerve? What are you talking about? Building a skate park? You mean, you're the one that did this? Well, I had to get rid of it somehow. Maybe we can talk about this. Maybe we can figure something out. If you don't listen to me from now on, you'll be in a world of pain. Oh, wow. Look who's home late again. Hey, Summer. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I, uh, I made a special dinner tonight and everything. Listen, Summer, there was a big explosion at the skate park. Again with the skate park. Seriously, I had to stay late and figure out what was going on. I don't want to hear it anymore. What do you mean? It's the skate park this, skate park that. It's consuming your whole life and I don't like it. I don't know what to tell you. This has been my lifelong dream to open the skate park. Yeah, and I understand that, but we're about to get married, Trey. We have have to still plan our wedding you're right but no i can do both this setback with the explosion is just one thing it's always just one thing with you listen summer i'll make it up to you okay everything's gonna be fine 
Well, sir, I think those shoes are a great option. They look awesome. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I like this one, but then I also like that one. Well, I mean, you could get both. I could get both, but I can also just get one or the other one, and that's what I'm trying to decide right now. Oh, man. Wait a second. What is she doing? Excuse me, ma'am. You can't be behind the register. Oh, so now you're telling me what to do. What are you even doing here? Did you follow me here? I'm behind the counter. What does it look like I'm doing? Being behind the counter you, you don't make any sense and you're insulting a customer customers just aren't allowed behind the register so if you could please just step away well let's check with the manager excuse me where's the manager ma'am calm down yes what's going on here i can't believe the absolute disrespect that i am facing in your store because of that employee right there i'm sorry ma'am uh trey what did you do nothing she was just standing behind the register and i asked her to step away this lady is crazy you know what trey why don't you just go home and clear your head for the rest of the day okay wait what you heard her trey please leave Summer, you won't believe what just happened. Trey, what are you doing home so early? Well, my manager just sent me home. That Karen lady showed up again and caused a huge scene. Your manager sent you home? Yeah, it was all because of that crazy Karen lady. Trey, you could lose your job over this. You know that, right? You can't lose your job. She just sent me home for the day. I'm not going to lose my job. Everything's going to be fine. You say that, but I'm really starting to doubt it. I just want to put this whole day behind me. Work, that crazy Karen lady, just all of it, okay? I just want to focus on you. I I haven't heard that in a while. I know, and I'm really sorry. What if you say I make it up to you? Wanna go out to dinner tonight? Yeah, let's do that. Perfect, it'll be great to just take our mind off of things. You know what, Summer? This is actually really nice. Yeah, it's actually been a while since we've been enjoying each other's company. <laughs> I feel like I've really missed you. All right, table 32, bon appetit. You! Me? Hey, Trey, what's going on? It's her. It's that Karen lady. Do you even work here? No, I don't, actually. This is crazy. This isn't even the right food, and it's burnt. So this is my fault, huh? You're gonna blame everything on me? Yes, you're following me everywhere. It's like you're stalking me. I'm doing my my job. But you don't even work here. My job is to run you out of town. Who thought the skate park was the only thing? I'm going to be ruining your life. All of this over the skate park? Seriously? Yes, it's disgusting and an eyesore and a code violation. You have to get rid of it. Oh my gosh, I can't deal with this. Summer, we're leaving. Yeah, whatever. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. That woman is making my life miserable. Trey, I can't believe that we can't just have a simple date together. You saw it with your own eyes. Eyes. It was all her fault. And kind of yours too. What do you mean? That woman is stalking me. She's everywhere. She's following me, I swear. You're the one who yelled at her first. And also, this is all happening because of that stupid skate park that you're obsessed with. What are you trying to say? Maybe she's not completely wrong. About what? Needing to get rid of it. You can't be serious. Summer, you know this is my dream. You said you would support me no matter what. You're not a child anymore, Trey. Stop dreaming. Hey, girl! You ready? Let's go party! Summer, what's going on? What is Chelsea doing here? I think I'm going to spend a few days with her. I just don't want to be anywhere near you right now. This launch party is going pretty well. Yeah, man, congrats. I can't believe you set all this up. Thanks, Dylan. I appreciate it. Why do you seem down? Everyone is really pumped about it, man. You did a good job. Have you seen Summer? Is she here? Uh, no. I don't remember seeing her anywhere. Man, I can't believe she didn't show up. Ugh! You inconsiderate, disrespectful young man oh my gosh you what do you want from me uh what's going on i can't believe you actually built it every time that i complain here you go causing a scene again you're starting to freak people out i can cause a scene wherever i want it's public property i don't know what is going on but you are absolutely insane and you need to stop <laughs> i'm not gonna stop this is just the beginning <laughs> Summer, what is going on? I'm packing my things and I'm leaving. What? You're leaving? And who is this guy? This is Ben. He's just a friend. Stop, dude. I'm helping her get out of here. You can't just leave. Please don't do this. I'm sorry, Trey, but I've made up my mind. Listen, the skate park opening was a huge success. I don't care, Trey. I never did. Summer, if he's bothering you, like, I can handle it. It's fine. I got it. Listen, I know things were going bad, but our luck is finally turning. I need some space. Okay, fine. I'll give you as much space as you want i'm sorry i just i just need time to think about everything yeah dude she said she needs space to so just get lost all right 
I can't believe this thing. This is so disgusting. I'm gonna put an end to this stupid skate park and tray. Mr. Mayor, I think you're gonna be really excited. The skate park is incredible. Yes, I'm really excited. All about new business. Yeah, yeah, but but that but that's if it, it passes the inspection. What is going on here? Oh my gosh, the whole thing is flooded. Jeremy, you told me this was a skate park, not a public pool. No, no, I, I have it written right here. I wrote it like five times. It's supposed to be a skate park, I, I promise. Clearly he lied to us. No, someone must have done this. This is absolutely disgusting. Sir, please, this is some kind of big mistake. It was a big mistake thinking I could give you a business license. I'm shutting this place down. Sir, please, please don't. This is my dream. All dreams are stupid. You need to give up. Hey, Summer, thank you so much for meeting me here. Yeah, let's just uh, get this over and done with. Can I get you a coffee or something? I think we'll just be in and out. Okay, Um, how have you been? Uh, I'm fine, uh, how are you? Uh, I'm kind of a mess. I really miss you a lot, and there's a thing at the skate park, and it's been a big mess cleaning it up. It's always the skate park with you, Trey! Summer, calm down. I can't do this anymore, Trey. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. We've been together for so long. I love you. I'm sorry, but we're breaking up. Summer, don't. You ruined our lives over this skate park and blaming it on that Karen. But Summer. Trey, goodbye. Karen. Uh, what? Who is it? You knocked on my door too loud. I was sleeping. I have had enough of you. <laughs> I know you're behind everything, ruining my whole life. Uh, I knew you would show up eventually. You are absolutely crazy. Why are you doing this to me? I told you about the skate park earlier, and if you would have just listened to me, this would have never happened. I've lost everything. My dream, the love of my life. You're sick, lady. Well, my job is almost done. Skate park is gonna close and never open. I promise, I'm gonna put a stop to you. I'm gonna put an end to all of this. You're gonna leave me alone. Oh, that won't happen. What is that? I called the cops on you. <laughs> what? You're crazy. Uh, I got a report to come to this house. What seems to be going on over here? Yes, officer, this guy is on my property and he won't leave. Oh, really? Another one of these, huh? He's trying to break into my house and steal everything. What? This lady's lying. She's crazy. Listen, man, you seem to be on property I, I gotta take you in hmm, so like what do you want summer um i don't know you know i'm not really that hungry i can't believe that you do not have any squash available well i'm sorry ma'am it's a really popular item but would you know anything about being popular uh ma'am please don't insult me i am the manager well i want my squash and you're not giving it to me ma'am i'm sorry there's nothing that i can do remember that skate park down the road guess what I close that down and I'll do the same to this store. No, you can't close this place down. The owner got arrested because he didn't do what I wanted. Now get me the squash or I'll lose it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that woman is so crazy. That's the Karen that Trey was talking about. I think I might've made a mistake. I can't believe I spent three days stuck in jail all because of that Karen lady. Well, I guess that's it. She won. Trey, Trey, there you are. Summer. What's going on? Look, I, I'm sorry. I overheard the Karen screaming at a manager today, and I, I should have believed you. Don't worry. It's okay. Okay, I love you. I'm sorry all this happened to us. It really was that lady the whole time. Yes, and we need to put a stop to her somehow. We need to get her kicked out of town or something. Actually, that's not a bad idea. What are you thinking? Excuse me, lady. I need to speak with you. What are you doing on my property? You're not even invited. It's the end of the line for you, lady. You're out of here. What? Out of here? What do you mean? You're getting kicked out of town for what you did. Uh, you. I need to speak to the manager. Well, I am the manager of the city. I am the mayor. And what I say goes around here. This is an outrage. I'm not going to stand for this. We have a full petition signed to remove you permanently from the city. That's right. This is the last you've seen of me. Wow, Randy, thank you so much for dinner. And the dessert, oh my gosh, this is my second piece of cake and it was so good. Yeah, yeah, don't mention it. I'm glad you had a good time. Hey, something seems a little off and I know my boyfriend. What's going on? <sighs> Look, I've had this on my mind for a while and I just don't know how to bring it up. What is it? You can tell me anything. I just don't think that we're right for each other. I think that we need to break up. 
What? What are you talking about? Break up? Randy, no! I just feel like we've grown apart and it just doesn't feel the same as it used to. It's not fair for both of us to try to do this. I I'm really sorry. I just feel like it's better if we just stop pretending. Randy, no. You're just going through something and you just need a little time to sort it out. That's all. We're not breaking up. We are not breaking up. Look, I'm really sorry, but we are. And uh, I just can't do this anymore. Good luck with everything. I'll see you around. Man, Case, this was terrible last night. She did not take it as well as I thought. Yeah, really? Yeah, it was like one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. She got so mad. I mean, I really did love Jane a lot. She just, it didn't work out. Yeah, well, breakups can be really rough, man. But, I mean, like, you'd always tell me about how Jane made you feel bad, and, like, she would just, like, I don't know, she just didn't seem good for you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, it definitely wasn't easy. Yeah, she just made it all about herself all the time. She didn't really care about you, you know? <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, I don't know. I'm still bummed out either way, you know? It's never easy to do. Look, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna forget all about Jane, you're gonna meet somebody else, and life's gonna move on. Alright, thanks, Case. Well, I gotta get to work, man. Alright, dude. Talk to you later on. We still gonna watch the game tonight? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's weird. Why is there a rose on the hood of my car? <sighs> Strange. What a weird day. Randy, I need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, what's up? Uh, there's a client in the office and she's being extremely rude. She says that she knows you. What, really? Yeah, and I'm just, I, I can't believe you would bring this into the office, Randy. Someone like this, this is just not right. Very unprofessional. Uh, I'm really sorry. I'll, I'll go see who it is. I'll take care of it. Randy, hi! Jane, what are you doing here? Why are you at my office? <laughs> it's a funny story. I actually had to pretend that I was one of your clients to get in here. <laughs> Look, you cannot be here. You have to leave. We broke up. I don't want to see you again, okay? I'm sorry that it had to be this way, but you can't keep doing this. It's not healthy. <laughs> but, but, but Randy, we can't break up. Please, no. I love you. Come on. Please. Look, please just go, okay? You're gonna get me in trouble. If you don't go, they're gonna call security. And I really don't want that to happen. Randy, we're supposed to be together forever. And you ruined it. <laughs> please, please, I love you. You don't love me. Trust me, Jane. This is the best for both of us. You're gonna feel better, but you have to go now, please. <laughs> Fine. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Dude, Case, you'll never guess what happened at work today. What happened? Jane came into the office to see me. Whoa, really? That's that's odd, man. Yeah, she was acting really strange. Look, I got something to tell you, too. Uh, so I was home all day working from here, and uh, the phone kept ringing, like, all day. And I'd answer it, and it was just somebody breathing. And they wouldn't say anything, and then they would just hang up. <sighs> man, that's really weird. Maybe it was the wrong number or something? Yeah, I mean, I thought that too, but the person called 47 times. It was all day long. Oh, man, I don't know. Who could have done it? Dude, are you stupid? It was Jane. She's going crazy now. You guys broke up. I don't know if she would do something like that. I don't know. She did just show up at your office. I'll keep an eye out, and uh, if it is Jane, I'll just tell her to stop. Whatever. But hey, man, there's a girl at my office that thinks that you're cute and she wants to go out with you. Is it all right if I give her your number? Yeah, sure. That sounds great. All right, man. Well, now I got to go work a late shift, so I'll talk to you later on. All right. See you, man. Thanks for the heads up. Randy, I need to talk to you right now. Uh, what's wrong? We found out that someone's been stealing money from the company, sending private emails to their competitors, and was mistreating our clients. Well, who was it? It was you, Randy. Don't play stupid with me. 
But I would never do something like that. I've worked here for four years. You know that I'm better than that. Well, someone sent me all the emails, Randy, that you were sending out. I have the proof that I need. No, it must be a mistake. There's no way this happened. Randy, don't embarrass yourself. No, boss, please. You gotta let me explain. Can I see the emails? No, you're fired, Randy. You're fired. Get out of here. No, please. I need this job. I gotta pay for my place. I didn't do any of the stuff that you accused me of. Maybe someone hacked my email or something. It doesn't matter anymore, Randy. You're fired. Get out of here. Go clean out your desk and go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Whoa, a red rose? It's just like on my car. What the heck is going on? Well, gee, it's really nice to meet you. So nice to meet you too, Randy. I'm so excited to try this restaurant too. Yeah, this place is really good. I come here with my friend all the time. Awesome, should we go sit and eat? Yeah, definitely, come on, let's go. Oh man, what should I order? I'm like really hungry. I know, I've been trying to think of what I should have all day. I heard the pasta's phenomenal. Oh yeah, it's so good. If you like pasta, this is like the spot. What is going on here? Jane, what are you doing here? I just can't believe you would cheat on me like that, Randy. Are you serious? In public? At our favorite restaurant? I'm not cheating on you, Jane, because we have not been dating for weeks now. We broke up a million times. I keep telling you this over and over again. You know, this is the restaurant that he took me on our first date. And now look, he's bringing you here. Oh, you're like sloppy seconds. I'm, I, I feel so bad for you. Whoa, wait a minute. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm following along here. What is going on, Randy? Are you dating this girl or not? No, I swear I'm not dating this girl. This is my ex-girlfriend. She will not leave me alone. You hear that, Jane? My ex-girlfriend. I don't know what you're talking about, Randy, but I've had enough. I'm leaving here. Uh, Randy, I I'm sorry. This is a lot. I'm really sorry, too. She has been acting like super crazy lately. I, uh, I It's not usually like this, I swear. <laughs> well, if you have girls acting this crazy, clearly you're a good guy. I won't let this jealous girl get in the way. <laughs> Awesome, let's enjoy our night. Now, let's definitely order some pasta because I am still hungry. Hey, what's your problem, man? I thought you broke up with Jane. Yeah, I did, like a while ago. Well, how come Instagram and Facebook's telling me something different? What are you talking about? She's been posting pictures of you guys all over social media, man. She's talking about how much you love her and how perfect she is. No, I haven't been online all day. I, I've been ignoring my phone on purpose. Oh, dude, I think you got hacked then. We need to go check your computer. Oh, man, seriously? All right, this is creeping me out, man. I keep finding these red roses all over the place. And it happened like right when I broke up with Jane. Oh, she's totally messing with you, man. She's like stalking you or something. Oh man, I don't know. I can't 100% prove it. Wait, if that rose is in here, does that mean that Jane's in our house? Uh, probably. We gotta get the locks changed, man. It's super clear that she's stalking you. Oh, man, this is really scary. I don't know, should I like call the police or something? Yeah, probably, dude. I don't know. This is wild. I've never experienced this before. All right, well, let's just stay calm, and hopefully things will work themselves out. Uh, hey, Gia. You said you wanted to meet me? It was, like, important or something? What's going on? Yeah, Randy. Oh, it's been crazy, but we really need to talk. I don't think I can see you anymore. Oh, why? No, no, things are going really well. What happened? I know. Randy, you're a great guy, but that ex of yours, she is up to no good. I got fired from my job today because someone kept sending letters about how I would kick puppies and spit on kittens and I was the worst. 
I don't know, and it all happened after that night at the restaurant. Man, I'm so sorry about that. I can't believe she would do something like this. I know. I've been getting all these crazy messages on my Instagram and on my Twitter that I need to stop dating you. This girl is not okay, man. I mean, I'm kind of afraid for my life. So I really... I don't know, Randy. It hurts me to say this, but I I can't be seen with you. I I can't know you. It must be Jane. I've been having these weird things happen to me, too. My accounts have been getting hacked. I've been finding these weird red roses all over the place. I just don't understand why she's doing this. Yeah, I don't either. But hey, I'm moving out of town. My parents are worried about me. This is a little too crazy. Thanks for the great dinner, Randy. Maybe one day we'll get to know each other, but just not right now. Jane, Jane, we have to talk. Oh, Randy. (laughs) Hey, how's it going? Jane, you have to stop it right now. I know that you got me and Gia both fired. You're hacking my social media accounts. You're leaving all these weird roses everywhere. You got to stop it now. (laughs) What are you talking about, silly? You think I would do that? Oh, you've been watching too much TV. I know that you would do that, okay? I I know it was you. You gotta stop. You're ruining my life, and if you don't, I'm gonna call the police. You can't stalk me. I ruined your life? <laughs> yeah, right. You ruined mine the day that we broke up, and there's no way you can prove to the cops that I did this. Look, I'm sorry that you're upset that we broke up, and I never wanted to hurt you, but you can't ruin my life over this. Please just stop it. No, the moment you broke up with me was the moment I needed to seek revenge. And here I am, ruining your life like you ruined mine. I don't understand. I still care about you. I thought that we were going to be friends after we broke up, not this. You need to find someone that's really going to love you, okay? We're not good for each other, don't you understand? You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe I need to move on to someone a lot better than you. Someone who would treat me like the princess that I am. And plus, it was too easy to ruin your life. Your life's boring. Yo, so Randy, how do you like the new place? It's okay. I feel a lot safer now that I've moved out of the state. I sold my car, changed my number. That way Jane can never find me again. I can't believe this. Yeah, I haven't seen Jane around at all. No phone calls, no roses, or anything like that. I'm bummed that we're not roommates anymore, though, man. Yeah, I'm really bummed about that, too. I'm glad that you haven't seen her around, though. Maybe she finally took the hint. Yeah, maybe. But, you know, look out just in case. Yeah, I know. I'm always watching my back. All right, but I got to go, man. I got a job interview, but it was good talking to you. Good luck, man. Hope it all works out. All right, time to go. Hope this goes... No, another rose? Yeah, Kobe, I met this really creepy girl online. It was strange. Yeah, man, well, you shouldn't be online dating as it is. I know, I'm definitely not going to. She was just weird and, like, she just wouldn't stop bothering me and I didn't say anything to her. All of a sudden, she just kept messaging me and messaging me and it freaked me out. We literally didn't say anything. Yeah, well, as long as you didn't give her any personal information, yeah, you should be fine. Yeah, there's no way she could have known who I was. She was probably just somebody, like, trying to scam me or something, that's all. Yeah, of course, you gotta be careful. You should never, ever, ever date people online. Never. Just don't do it. I know, I know, I'm not going to. I was just being stupid in the moment, and that's all it was. Ah, good. That's good. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know. I've sort of felt like I've had, like, somebody watching me or something, though. I just have this bad feeling. Hey, man, you just need to relax. I'm sure it's gonna be okay. Yeah, you're right. But hey, dude, it's getting late. I'm gonna head home. All right, cool, man. I'm gonna hang out here for a while and just chill out. All right, sounds good. Have a good night.
I got such a long day today. But at least I'm gonna have pizza for dinner tonight. That's gonna be great. Wait, what's going on? My computer keeps going off. I just keep getting tons of messages. It's that Penelope person again. I don't understand why she keeps messaging me. I've never even spoken to her one time. Something's weird. She says, I see you, I see you, over and over again. All right, this is really scary. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? I just need to calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. <sighs> All right. I gotta go to work anyway. I'm just gonna head out. I'm so glad I get a break. I mean, wait a minute, Penelope? Hey, Taylor! <laughs> I'm so excited to see you! What are you doing here at my work? How did you find me? I've never even responded to you. This is really scary. What? Are you saying you didn't get all the messages I sent you? But I sent you like a ton of them! Yeah, I got the messages. They were really creepy. You need to leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. What? Don't call me creepy! I am not creepy at all! Look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but can you please just leave me alone? I, I just want to be left alone. This is really too much. What? Just leave you alone? Oh, 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 okay. I guess I'll leave you alone. All right, cool. Thanks. Gosh, that was weird. So the last of the cameras are installed now. Wow, man, you really feel that unsafe? Yeah, it was so weird. I don't want her to come in and steal any of my stuff or anything. I'm really sorry things went so weird like that. I mean, that's why you should never ever online date. I know, I know, and I definitely know that that's not a good thing to do. But anyway, I don't know. Maybe she won't bother me anymore. Well, I'm glad you got the cameras then. Now all you need to do is put an alarm system. Maybe you should go to the police. Well, I can't really. I don't know anything about her. I don't even know if that's her real name. I think she's trying to scam me or something. She's got to be trying to, like, steal my money or, I don't know, get me fired from my job or something. I don't know. Well, I could crash here tonight if you want me to. I mean, uh, you got, like, all this extra room anyway. No, don't worry about it, man. It's going to be okay. Are uh, you sure? I don't mind. No, it's okay. I don't want to, I don't want to bother you. All right. Yeah, no worries, man. Well, hopefully the cameras pick up whatever ends up happening. Yeah, I'm sure that they will. I bet you I'll be fine. Oh man, my computer keeps going off. What is this? Is Penelope still messaging me? Oh no, it's the security cameras. It's an alert. What is going on? She's been in my house. Wait, she's behind me. Penelope, what do you want? Hello? Anybody there? Please let me out of here. What is going on? We can talk about this. Oh, you're awake. <laughs> I'm so excited, Taylor. But guess what? I'm never going to let you out of here. Nope, not ever. What? Why? What are you doing this for? This doesn't make any sense. You don't even know me. Mm, well, you're kind of right. I know that you're rich and I'm a criminal. So I want to steal all of your money. <laughs> so you never wanted to be my friend? You just wanted to scam me for all my money? Mm, yep, yep, pretty much. That's about it. Come on, please. I don't even care about the money. Just let me go. Don't ruin my life for no reason. Aw, oh, come on. But it's so fun. And plus, I'm going to get rich at the end. Isn't that what everyone wants? No, no one wants that. Please, just let me out. Hmm, you drive. 
of an interesting argument here, but uh, yeah, nope, nope, not gonna happen. I'm gonna take your money and I'm gonna go commit just a few more crimes. <laughs> this is gonna be so fun, don't you think? No, this is terrible, let me out! Hey, Taylor, are you home? Taylor! Taylor! Huh, that's weird. I haven't seen him at all. Taylor, are you there? Oh, looks like there's someone's bag here. Oh my gosh, what if it's that girl that's been bothering him? Oh, I hope he's okay. Let me see if she's got some ID. Okay, it says Penelope. All right, um... Oh, how do I find out more about her? Well, I could Google her. Okay. Oh. My. Gosh. She's the escaped prisoner. Oh, I, re I remember seeing this on the news. Oh my gosh. This isn't good. She's super evil. She likes to steal everybody's money. Oh my gosh. How could Taylor have gotten himself into this mess? She must have taken him so that she could find a way to steal his money or something. Oh no. Oh, this isn't good. Well, I guess I gotta go to the jail and talk to somebody. Maybe they can find him. I just hope that everything's okay before she steals more and then gets away with it. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Hey, sir, thanks for meeting me. Yeah, sure, of course, no problem. We've been looking for Penelope for quite some time. She's incredibly good at being a criminal. It's it's honestly very frustrating. I think my friend might have been taken by her. Uh, I noticed that a few of his things were missing, and I haven't seen him anywhere. And there's video evidence of her taking him out of the house. He installed cameras and everything. Well, that's great that we finally have some video footage of this. We might be able to track her down. Does he have cameras on the outside of his house? I don't know. I know he just put them on the inside. I don't know anything about the outside. Hmm. Well, this is kind of frustrating. We've been looking all over the place. I mean, we know that she used to have this old criminal base. It was like a little cabin out in the woods, but we had already checked there. That's where she was arrested the first time. I don't know if she'd go back there. Yeah, well, I mean, you sure you checked it recently? Well, no, we checked it as soon as she broke out, like a month ago. Well, then maybe she could be there. I guess, I don't know. She's pretty smart, though. I don't know if she'd go there if she knows that we know where it is. Or maybe that's exactly what she wants you to think, so that she could go and hide in plain sight. Well, look, you're welcome to go check it out if you want. I can't send any of my guys down there unless we have hard evidence that she's in the area. Okay, fine. I'll let you know if I find anything. Can you at least let me know where it is? Yeah, sure. On your way out, I'll have somebody give you directions. Okay, thank you. Look at this old place, it's disgusting. Okay, Taylor. Taylor, are you around here anywhere? Oh, I don't see him. Oh, there's not really a lot of room to keep somebody in here either. But it does seem like somebody might have been here. I mean, the light's on, that's a sign, right? Maybe she has been around here, I don't know. What is this? This looks like some kind of secret entrance. Maybe it goes to a basement or something. Hello? Taylor? Taylor? Kobe, is that you? Oh my gosh, Taylor! Taylor! Oh my gosh, let me out of here! Okay, okay, come on, come on, come out! How did you find me? What is going on? Taylor, that person that you met online, um, turns out she was an escaped criminal and she's like a mastermind at stealing money. Yeah, I know. She told me all about it. I didn't know she was an escaped criminal though. Yeah, yeah. She's like really good. She's usually a jewelry thief, but lately she's been stealing people's money and identities. She's probably taken everything that you have. My gosh, that's not good. I hope that they can find her. Well, I mean, the good thing is, is that we found you. So that's going to lead us to her, I'm sure. How did you find all this out? Well, all I had to do was Google her. And then I found out that she was like in all these headlines. So I went and I talked to her caseworker at the prison and they've been looking for her for like a month. 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Yeah, well, why don't we get out of here? You can come stay with me for a little while until they catch her. Great, that sounds good. I think we go right to the police station, tell them everything. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good idea. Let's go. I can't believe it. I'm finally allowed to be back in my house. Yeah, that's right. Thanks to you. We were able to finally find Penelope and arrest her. She had already gone to a bunch of jewelry stores and stolen all of the diamonds. Honestly, I I'm really surprised that we caught her at all. You're lucky you have a good friend. Yeah, I am too. I, I can't believe that. She was just going to take everything that I had and just run away and leave me down there. Yeah, she's a terrible, terrible person. I can't believe that she would do something like that either. Well, actually, yes, I can because that's kind of what she does. Oh, well, thank you guys so much for finding her. I mean, this has been so unbelievably stressful. I can't thank you enough. Well, I'm glad that you had those security cameras. At least we could identify that she was still in your house. Yeah, of course. And I'm definitely going to get myself like a full on security system moving forward. Well, that's probably a good idea, but you don't have to worry about any of that anymore. We finally arrested her and she's going to go back to jail for a very, very long time. Oh, that's great news. I'm really excited about that. I mean, I'm sorry that she has to go to jail, but at the same time, she's done so many mean things to people. She deserves it. Of course she deserves it. But don't worry, she's going to a place where she'll never be able to get out. Just when Cameron moved to a normal neighborhood, he soon found out that people aren't always what they seem. I know who you are. Oh, I am your biggest fan. Wait till you see what his neighbor did to him. It'll shock you. You need to learn a lesson. Who would do something like this? Man, that was a lot of traveling. I'm so happy to have my stuff almost moved inside. I can't wait to be in this new house. Oh, hi. Welcome to the neighborhood. My name's, my name's Stuart. Oh, hi. Uh, hey, Stuart. My name's Cameron. It's nice to meet you. Very, very nice to meet you. Do you, do you need help moving anything inside your home? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm actually just about finished up, but thanks for the offer. Yeah, okay. Mm. Well, if you, if you ever need anything, just ne don't ever hesitate. You just ask me. Uh, okay, man. Uh, yeah, great to meet you. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go now. I gotta finish this stuff up, okay? I'll talk to you later. Man, I'm so tired from moving, but I'm finally glad I got this place all set up. Oh, I think this is the beginning of a new life. This is going to be great. Oh, man, I'm so tired. I need like the biggest cup of coffee in the world to get my day going. Where the heck is this coffee cup? Oh, who could that be? Oh, uh, hey, Stuart, what's up? Good morning, Cameron. Hi. Uh, yeah, good morning. It's really early, man. What What do you want? I know who you are. You're the, you're the famous comic book artist, Cameron Novak. <sighs> yeah, that's me. Yep, you're right. That's you. You, you are Cameron Novak. You, you right there. Yeah, me. Oh, I am your biggest fan! I just love every single comic series you've created. I own every single copy. I own multiple copies, and I keep them in mint condition! 
Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm, I'm not anyone special. I'm just a normal guy. Yes, you are! Yes, you are. You are so special, Cameron. No, no, trust me. Like, I, I really don't like all this attention. Uh, I, that's part of the reason why I moved. I just, I really appreciate that you're a fan. Could you do me a favor, Cameron Novak? Could you possibly sign some copies of your comics for me? Yeah, sure. But you just have to call me Cameron. You don't have to keep calling me by my full name. Okay, Cameron Novak. Oops, I mean Cameron. Well, I gotta get ready for work now. I have like a big meeting, but yeah, I can come by and sign this stuff later on, maybe? Mm-hmm, yeah, whatever you need, Cameron. Okay, bye, I'll see you later. Oh man, what the heck is going on? All right, I need that coffee as soon as possible. This is such a weird start to my day. Man, what a long day. But hey, you know what? We got this comic sold, and I'm really glad that we're gonna move on with this project. Uh, I should get into bed in a second. I'm so tired. Wait, what was that? Hello? Hello? What is going on? This is so weird. Is someone in here? If you're in here, show yourself! Hello? Hello? No one's there. Maybe someone's outside. Hello? Oh, hey, hey Cameron, I heard some screaming. Is everything okay? Stuart, what are you doing here? Were you just in my house? Why, why would I be in your house? Well, somebody definitely broke into my house. I could hear it. The lights were on and there was noises downstairs. It's really freaking me out. This neighborhood is the safest in town. Stuff like that doesn't happen. Not around here. Not around these parts. <sighs> well, I'm nope. telling you, it happened. It just happened to me. And what are you doing, like, right on my lawn? This is kind of sketching me out, man. I just happened to hear some screaming, and I wanted to come over for you, Cameron. But you should probably just get some rest. That's all. You're fine. If you need anything, just ask me. Uh, okay. Yeah, all right. I'm going to bed. Okay. Good night, Cameron. Mark, last night was so wild. I'm telling you, this neighborhood keeps getting freakier and freakier. Hmm, what happened? Dude, I, I swear someone was in my house. Like, I was just getting ready for bed, and I could just hear someone breathing and walking downstairs. No one was there. And that freaky neighbor was standing on my lawn. This wasn't a dream? No, it wasn't a dream. I know the difference between real life and a dream. Hmm, and your neighbor was on your front lawn? Yeah, exactly. This guy's so weird. I catch him looking in my windows all the time. I don't know. I just always feel like I'm being watched or something. Hmm, it just sounds a little too weird to be coincidence, you know? Yeah, it really does. Yeah, man, I thought all this stuff was over. I thought moving to a different town, people wouldn't know who I was or whatever, but sure enough, this guy knows who I am, and man, he is just not leaving me alone. Hmm, maybe, uh, maybe either he or someone else were trying to rob you or something. I mean, you know, you are pretty famous. I think I'm gonna put some cameras in or something because I want to catch whoever's doing this. Maybe it isn't that guy and I'm just being a jerk. I don't know. Sounds like a good idea. I'd probably put some motion lights and maybe some, uh, some other things, man. Just, just because. Take every precaution you can. We'll figure it out. Hopefully I can catch whoever it is in the act and hopefully it's not my neighbor. Well, you know, just be careful. Yeah, I will. I'm sure it's all gonna work out. Excited to be home, finally. I hope nothing weird happens. I could really use a good night's rest. I feel like I've just been running on empty all week. Wait, is that Stuart? What is he doing back there? Hey, Stuart! What are you doing on my property? I cannot believe an idol by Cameron. Novak would treat his biggest, number one, most outrageous fan like garbage. Relax, I'm not treating you like garbage, okay? I just, I want to know what your deal is. Why are you on my property? It's so sketchy, man. You're my best friend. That's how best friends are supposed to act. No, we're not best friends. I just moved here. I don't even know you, man. All I've wanted to do was help you. Well, I appreciate that, okay? But I'm the type of person that likes a little personal space, okay? We just can't keep doing this. It's weird. So you like to keep to yourself. You like to make comic books. And you make room for a best friend like me. That's what you do. 
No, dude, I think you just need to leave me alone, okay? You're really upsetting me. I don't ever want to upset you, Cameron. You see, Cameron, I am your biggest fan and your bestest friend. Okay, well, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but I have a lot going on. I'm just gonna go inside. Please just, you know, maybe leave my property. Well, you need to learn how to treat your best friend. You need to learn a lesson. Man, that is one weird guy. Ugh. Oh man, I can't wait to relax. This is gonna be awesome. I really shouldn't do what I'm about to do, but I need to teach Cameron Novak a lesson. <laughs> you don't treat best friends like that. You don't. <laughs> I'm running late for work and what the heck happened to my car? It's destroyed. Who would do something like this? Wait a minute, Stuart. Stuart, hey, did you do this to my car? Good morning, Cameron. How are you? I'm not doing great, Stuart, because my car is destroyed. Did you do this? You said you wanted to teach me a lesson. Is this what you meant? I don't know what you're talking about, Cameron. Maybe if I was watching your house for you last night, none of this would have happened. You don't have to watch my house, okay? I can't believe this. I'm gonna call the police. Oh, man, I need to do something about this now. So look, officer, I know that you get complaints like this all the time, but man, this is just not stopping, okay? Someone's broken into my house, my car has been destroyed, I don't know what else to do, I need help. Uh, I mean, have you had any uh, altercations with anybody uh, recently? Uh, can you think of anybody who could be doing this to you? I really think that it's my neighbor. See, I'm a famous comic book artist and creator, and he's like an obsessed fan, and it's just really creepy, he's like always there. Um, got any evidence of this? Well, I don't have any exact evidence, no, but it's just a feeling, like, I don't know, I always feel like he's watching me or something. Listen, if you don't have any concrete evidence, there's nothing we can do for you, unfortunately. I could have the police watch the house for a couple days if it'll make you feel better, but we just can't go arrest your neighbor without any evidence. That would be really great, actually. I, I appreciate it. I I'll try to find some way to get some evidence. Man, this is tough. I know for a fact that Stuart did this. I know it. I just got to find a way to prove it. Finally, I got all my cameras set up. There's no way that anyone's going to be able to come into this house without me seeing it. Now hopefully I can finally feel safe in my own home. It's morning. I gotta go check my computer to see if cameras caught anything. I didn't hear much, so hopefully that's good. Oh, there's nothing. Wait, the end of my bed? Stuart? He was watching me sleep? No! No! My neighbor watched me sleep? Well, at least I got the proof now. All I have to do is go to the police and prove that it was Stuart. That this can all stop now. I gotta go right away. Well, thanks again for coming out so soon. Well, thank you for coming forward and getting the evidence. It's a really brave thing you did. Yeah, I mean, no offense, but maybe you guys should have helped me out a little bit. But uh, I'm glad that we got it taken care of. Well, it's clear now that Stuart broke into your home. It's really creepy. He was there watching you sleep. Yeah, it still creeps me out. I just, ugh, it always felt like someone was watching me. And somebody really was. Uh, Chief, uh, the house is completely empty. There's no sign of anyone there. No sign of the steward to be found anywhere. What? The house is empty? No sign of Stuart? Yeah, uh, there's definitely something you should see. Come on, Chief. Bring Cameron with you. What the heck is this? I can't believe it. He really was stalking me. It wasn't just stalking. This guy was obsessed with you. He seemed to have followed you everywhere. I mean, everywhere. They need to find the steward guy. Get an APB out on him right away. Yes, sir. Cameron, are you okay? 
Honestly, man, I'm not sure. I just want to feel safe again, and this does not make me feel safe. <sighs> Do you think you could have some officers just kind of chill in the neighborhood for the next few days or something? Absolutely. I'll have my best officers on the case. <sighs> I really appreciate this. Mark, that was a great turnout for this event. I can't believe it. Yeah, that was a really good turnout. Great comic book signing. Yeah, I've been having trouble focusing lately because of everything that's been happening. I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm glad that today went well. It was a nice break. You still thinking about that stalker? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I still just have this creepy feeling like I'm being watched. So have the police turned anything up? No, oh, it's been weeks since he went missing. No one's seen him anywhere. Hopefully, maybe he got the hint and he's gone for good. Oh, I hope so. I really, really do, but... Anyway, let's head home. I'd be down to get some food or something. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> 